In today's video, I'm going to show you quickly and easily how to frag green star polyps. Now, green star polyps are really easy to care for and they grow really quickly in your reef aquarium. And when they overgrow certain areas is probably the easiest and the best time to frag them. Okay, so here's the section of green star polyps that I have right here. And we're going to take a look at how they are growing. And then we're going to look at how we can frag a piece of these green star polyps. And it's going to be pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, you can see that I still have that bubble tip anemone in the basket. But let's go around the side here. And you can see right here that there's some green star polyps hanging over the side right here. And you'll notice that they're not really attached to the rock work at all. But they're just kind of growing out and over. That's going to make it really easy to get a nice couple frags right there. Now, before we get in there and start fragging the green star polyp, there's a few tools that we're going to need. The first tool we're going to need is some bone cutters right here. And if you don't have a pair of these, it makes it real easy to frag, especially some of the more softer corals. It makes it real easy to get in there and really snip off a piece of coral and make a frag. So. I'll leave a link in the description below on where I got these and where you can pick up your very own bone cutters to start fragging corals. Now the next tool that I'm going to use is some powder free nitrile gloves. These are latex gloves that you can put on to try and keep the water off of your hands. I mean you can use these if you're fragging zoanthids or something like that. You can probably use a little bit more caution but with green star polyps if you don't have these, you'll be just fine. I just like to use them when I'm putting my hands in the reef tank. And another tool that you're absolutely going to need is some super glue, some gel super glue that contains cyanoacrylate. You're going to use that to glue down your fresh green star polyp frag to a frag plug. Okay, so I'm going to try to get in here with the bone cutters and you're just going to get in there and snip off a piece. And so you can see how this right here is pretty much a nice soft mat of green star polyps. So it's going to be easy to take these and snip it right off. So what we can do is just find a piece that we like. So I'm probably going to come in here and snip right here. I mean, this is growing really well. So I'm going to cut right here. Now with green star polyps, you could probably tear them off. But if you get a more clean cut, it's probably going to be a better frag for you. So we're going to come in here and probably get two cuts out of here. We're going to cut this section right here and then cut these right there. And so we're just going to take the bone cutters here, come right up underneath and get a nice cut right there. And you can see it's a nice clean cut right there. And you know what? I'm probably just going to do this one for example, but if we cut right here, I'm gonna get my other hand in here. Okay, so we're gonna get this right underneath and then get another cut and boom. Comes off right like that. And there you have it. That is a green star polyp frag right there. And we're gonna get that glued down. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is grab a container to put some tank water in and your freshly cut frag. So that's the piece that we got. You can probably cut this guy in half again, but just for example, we're going to leave this one piece of green star polyp and now we're going to glue it onto a frag plug. Okay, so now that we have the frag in the container, the next thing you're going to need is a frag plug. Now you can choose any size frag plug that you want for this. Uh, in this case, I am just using a frag disc since this is a green star polyp and it and its growth pattern um, pretty much will cover this frag plug and end up growing over anything that we put it on. I'm just gonna put the plug right here on this disc. So it's really easy to do. All you need is some super glue like we talked about a little bit earlier. Make sure it contains cyanoacrylate and we're just gonna glue it down to the frag plug. Okay, so we're gonna take the bottle of super glue. This one I've used quite a bit so I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit try to get that glue going and then what we're gonna do is take our frag plug here and we're gonna apply a generous amount of glue to the frag disc 
Okay, so we're gonna try to apply a good size, a good amount of glue right here. And to be honest, for the frag that we cut, that's probably good enough. So what we're gonna do is take the green star polyp and we're gonna put it down right on top of the glue there. So, so there you have it. That is a freshly glued green star polyp onto this frag disc here. The next thing to do is to take this and dip it back in your tank water. That's going to set and activate the glue and that helps it cure a little bit faster so that it's stuck down to the frag plug. You can see that it's not going anywhere. And then once you have that done, it's time to put it back in your reef tank. Okay, so I temporarily put it in here next to this anemone. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. This is right after we cut it, glued it, and put it right back into the tank. You notice it's gonna take a minute for it to open because it's processing that you just cut it off of the main colony. But you can still see that there's some green star polyps kind of hanging out and coming back out to the light. Now it's also adjusting because you took it out of the water to glue it to the frag plug, but give it a little while and it will bounce right back. Now, once you frag your green star polyp, it may take a day or so to recover and some bounce back a lot quicker than that. Sometimes within the same day, green star polyps are very resilient and like you know, they're super easy and they grow really quickly. But once you have your frag, you can either put that somewhere else in your reef aquarium or offer it up to uh, one of your friends that's also in the hobby or some hobbyists make it a little side income selling coral frags on the side. But if you enjoyed this video, I made another one that I know you're gonna love right here. So click or tap your screen to check out that video. Thank you so much for watching, liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.